The US military lies to you. They spy on everyone, including you. Read The Seventh Sense, The Secrets of Remote Viewing as told by a psychic spy for the US military, by Lynn Buchanan. In it the author talks about CIA missions he completed using controlled remote viewing, acronym CRV, on targets. Lynn Buchanan says that evil is a matter of interpretation, rather than a definite value, and lies and truth are just two of the many sides of an ever-flipping coin. He's retired CIA, retired military. These people are lying to you. They have no definite values of good versus evil. The military is using the science of the mind against you. You are not free in America. This is Rome. You are not safe. The scriptures say, Thou hast strengthened me before the battles of wickedness. Thou hast made me like a strong tower, a high wall, and hast established my edifice upon rock. Eternal foundations serve for my ground, and all my ramparts are a tried wall which shall not sway. This is April Shaltai's, using the computer to generate this message. Why am I generating this message? There is a hidden euthanasia, a silent genocide, just to amuse or please immoral people. This is April Shaltai's, and they tried to put me down. I'm a virgin, it's not really on purpose, I'm just not married, so they tried to put me down. You could be put down, too, and you may never even see it coming. This is April Shaltai's, warning you that science of the mind is being used against you. The common connection between all human beings is being used for psychic attack. Predators use hypnosis, remote viewing, and astral plane travel. All day and all night, you are under attack. The military calls it science of the mind, and it used to be top secret, but now there are books about it. Hypnotists can convince you of almost anything, and program you secretly while you are awake or asleep. Remote viewers can connect with you psychically to see what you see. Astral plane projection can be used to influence events and people from a distance. Fight back. Put the Bible, the Quran, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Book of Enoch, and any other word from God in front of your eyes, in your mouth, and in your heart. Put God first. Insist that His will only is done, and make your top priority Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 and 5. Here, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might.